Hey guys! Today we're going to read another book by Eric Carle. It's called Roosters Off to See the World. I think you'll love the illustrations. Roosters Off to See the World by Eric Carle. One fine morning, a rooster decided that he wanted to travel. So right then and there, he set out to see the world. He hadn't walked very far when he began to feel lonely. Just then, he met two cats. The rooster said to them, Come along with me to see the world. The cats liked the idea of a trip very much. We would love to, they purred, and they set off down the road with the rooster. As they wandered on, the rooster and the cats met three frogs. How would you like to come with us to see the world? asked the rooster, eager for more company. Why not? answered the frogs. We're not busy now. So the frogs jumped along behind the rooster and the cats. After a while, the rooster, the cats, and the frogs saw four turtles crawling slowly down the road. Hey, said the rooster, how would you like to see the world? It might be fun, snapped one of the turtles, and they joined the others. As the rooster, the cats, the frogs, and the turtles walked along, they came to five fish, fish swimming in the brook. <coughs> Where are you going? asked the fish. We're off to see the world, answered the rooster. May we come along, pleaded the fish. Delighted to have you, the rooster replied. <clears throat> the sun went down. And this is a pretty picture. It began to get dark. The moon came up over the horizon. Where's our dinner? asked the cats. Where are we supposed to sleep? asked the frogs. We're cold, complained the turtles. And then some fireflies flew overhead. We're afraid, cried the fish. Now the rooster really had not made any plans for the trip around the world. He had not remembered to think about food and shelter, so he didn't know how to answer his friends. After a few minutes of silence, the fish suddenly decided that it might be best if they headed for home. They wished the others a happy trip and swam away. Then the turtles began to think about their warm house. They turned and crawled back down the road without so much as saying goodbye. The frogs weren't too happy with the trip anymore either. First one and then the other and finally the last one jumped away. They were polite enough though to wish the rooster a good evening as they disappeared into the night. The cats then remembered an unfinished meal they had left behind. They kindly wished the rooster a happy journey and they too headed for home. Now the rooster was all alone, and he hadn't seen anything of the world. He thought for a minute and then said to the moon, To tell you the truth, I am not only hungry and cold, but I'm homesick as well. The moon did not answer. It too disappeared. Where do you think the rooster's going to go? The rooster knew what he had to do. He turned around and went back home again. He enjoyed a good meal of grain and then sat on his very own perch. After a while, he went to sleep and had a wonderful, happy dream. A trip, all a dream all about a trip around the world. The end.
Now, I hope you enjoyed this story. This one was beautiful pictures with all of these animals. Look at all the colors that he used. Now, you can imagine Eric Carle painted all of the tissue paper and then cut out each piece and put it together to make his beautiful collages that you see throughout the story. Um, now, I want you to go back and think what was your favorite animal that Rooster came across. Have a great day, guys.